Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Welcome to my program, A Picture and a Comment. And before that, I greet you with salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace be unto all of you. Uh, dear audience and dear viewers everywhere, Today we have two pictures. Let's see the first picture, a group of people prostrating or praying or making salah and making sujood uh, with the, a young child who's looking at the camera. And uh, let's move to the second picture here uh, with uh, a person who is praying by himself uh, on the sand, as you can see. And uh, we will move... Uh, uh, between the two pictures to convey uh, the messages that I got and the comments that I got. And uh, I uh, here thank the people who send these pictures and I thank everyone who usually sends the pictures or the comments because it's very important to share what we have. Uh, the two pictures represent lots of meanings. Uh, one of the meanings is that uh, uh, we are time. This prayer should be done on time. And that's why people are doing it and doing it uh, uh, here uh, in congregation. Because as we know and always encourage each other, as the Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to do the prayer in congregation, in jama'ah, because the reward that we get uh, is perhaps 27. Yes, fold more than. Uh, if we do it individually. And there are many benefits from this because it encourages you and it strengthens your Iman. And at the same time, we are encouraged to take our kids with us uh, because immediately you see and nat naturally the child is, is trying to imitate uh, his parent or his brother uh, to do the prayer. And uh, after some time, it becomes a habit and it becomes part of the person. And that's why we need to take advantage of this age. As the Prophet Sallallahu said, it's between 7 and 10. This is the age that's good for coaching your kids to do the prayer. And once you do it, you will see the result and the fruit of it. Later, when they grow up, they will keep the prayer on time. Alhamdulillah. Uh, brothers and sisters, Take this matter seriously. This is the right time to train and teach your kid to perform the Salat. And a lot of people missed this time. And they blame themselves day and night now because it becomes very difficult after that. It is doable, but it becomes very difficult. And at the same time, you get the reward of following the traditions uh, and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, beautiful meaning. However, you see a lot of people are making this sujood, prostration. At the same time, you can see the yeah. Nowadays, one person saw the Muslims doing this, and he raised this question. I think it's very difficult for me to put my head my top to put it on the ground it's so difficult this is the thing that i am so proud of it and this reminds every muslim with the quranic verse that says yes it is considered a difficult thing to do except for khashi'in those the definition of the khashi'in here is for those who do believe that they are going to meet Allah on the Day of Judgment. If we have this belief on the Day of Judgment, we are going to be held accountable for everything that we do in this life, then and only then we will know that it will become easy for us 
to do it any place at any place as long as it is clean and to do it five times a day and we would leave anything else that we do and we come to the prayer because we know that uh, our success and our future and our eternal life depends on it which is a symbol of submitting ourselves to almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there's the, uh, the other picture also sh shows us the person who is prostrating as you see in the second picture here prostrating on the sand and the desert which gives us another thing about this beautiful religion uh, shows us the simplicity of Islam it's very simple religion it means as the Prophet ﷺ said that وَجُعْلَتْ لِيَ الْأَرْضُ مَسْجِدًا وَطَهُورًا that the whole earth is made for me as a mosque a place for prostration as long as it is clean and pure so this is so beautiful that tells you that the message that you can do it anywhere because if it is clean so you can make prostration on it and alhamdulillah there are lots of details in the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu of how to do it again this shows us the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us as muslims that we make this prostration however here there is another comment that i got which is so beautiful it tells us that in other religions they make prostration but when you see them or you observe them and you can check uh, uh, the internet and you will see that the different types of prostration some people just extend their bodies on the ground they as if they are sleeping on their stomachs straight forward without doing the prostration without yeah putting even the head on the ground and i wish that you uh, check this by yourself we muslims believe that the previous religions used to to do sujood to do prostration as the muslims are doing it right now and we do believe that it was by time what happened is that there is big change that began with gradual and simple change from one generation to another from one church to another from one temple to another and it became so loose that we see all these changes in the type of worship that the other people do and here really we feel so alhamdulillah thankful to almighty allah who give us the support to keep uh, our hearts and our beliefs on the right track we thank allah for this we thank prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who gave us the guidelines and his sunnah that explains everything to us and who encouraged us to abide heart and to bite heart hardly on these guidelines the quran and the sunnah until we die and this is what kept this beautiful religion safe without change walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu your presenter mamdouh nuruddin muhammad <laughs> Oh, my God.